What's up, Milwaukee Bucks fans? Tyler from Esco Fanatics. I'm breaking down a handful of Bucks plays from their big win over the Boston Celtics last night. I'm going to start with a Chris Middleton play on offense. Now, Chris Middleton didn't score a ton last night. He did assert himself defensively and still have seven assists. But this move really just shows me that Chris Middleton is feeling healthy and feeling comfortable. When it looks like the defense isn't even there, that's when Chris is at his best. This defensive sequence came within the, the Celtics still being within striking distance, but the Bucs play really good defense here. Damian Lilly doesn't go for the fake on the handoff. Andre Jackson Jr. and Giannis rotate well out to the kickout. And then Bobby Portis, who came down for the double team on Drew Holiday, recovers, closes back out to the corner, and forces a missed three, and Andre Jackson finishes the possession with a rebound. Good rotations. This next set of plays, this is two plays. This is a really good sequence by Andre Jackson Jr. Catches an air ball from Giannis, who is trying to take advantage of a mismatch. Catches it and lasers the ball out to Brooke Lopez, who makes a super deep three. This is the next possession. He disallows Jason Tatum to set a screen. Peyton Pritchard then kicks the ball around, and Andre Jackson Jr. is the one that goes to close out in the corner to contest the three-point shot. This is fantastic effort by Andre Jackson Jr. in two consecutive plays, one on the offensive end, one on the defensive end. Just really great work by Andre Jackson Jr. and definitely something that's going to earn him more playing time. Good help down in the paint by Damian Lillard also. All right, now we got Brooke Lopez out here just making some saucy passes. Catches this one one hand, flips it out to Malik Beasley for three. And then this one, he gets a hockey assist for, but he does a little behind the head, behind the back pass. Andre Jackson Jr., who catches it, who flings this one out for a campaign three. So these are three plays that should be three blocks. Unfortunately, it's a foul and two blocks. But first, I want to check the effort level by Andre Jackson Jr. here. Again, he's super far away from this play when he ends up getting back into it. Unfortunately, ended up being a bump on Connaughton. But look how far behind the play that he is. And he gets back to this point. It's unfortunate that couldn't be a block. This one is Brooke Lopez, just great timing. And the first thing I want to say about this is that you have to be willing to get dunked on. I've talked about it on the show a whole bunch of times. You have to be willing to get dunked on to make blocks like this. And this is Brooke Lopez. Notice he didn't look at the ball at all. He's playing the man, not the ball. That's what makes Brooke Lopez a great rim defender. And then this one, Thanasis. If you think you're beating Thanasis one-on-one, -on -one, you're not. You're not. You can talk shit all you want about the 15th guy on the bench, but you are not beating Thanasis one-on-one. -on -one. His athleticism is crazy. He would beat you 21-0, to zero and he would block your shot every time you tried to shoot. That said... Join us on Wednesday. We're going to have full breakdowns of all of the Bucks games over the next week. The Celtics, the Warriors, and the Kings will be live at 4 o'clock on Wednesday. Until then, enjoy the Bucks.